Dear students, today we will learn about process and its administration. So, we are learning under the heading of coordinating machines activities. And we will learn that how operating system coordinates execution of application software, utility software or operating system itself. So, you know in RAM all of such softwares are available or loaded when they are being executed by the CPU. So, for example, there are five applications running at the moment. You know, you have learned in one of the previous module that there is a time sharing fashion and in that time sharing fashion, one process or one program is being is given time and then afterwards the control is switched to the next process or next program. So, when such uh, switching is involved, so all of such information or all of such state need to be saved as well somewhere. So, first of all, we need to learn that what is a difference between program and a process. So, this is a fundamental concept of modern operating system to distinguish it between a program and the activity of executing a program. So, we can say that program is a static set of instructions written in a programming language and then execution of that set of instruction in a real environment under a controlled environment by the operating system is known as basically the process. So, we can also create an analogy uh, with the music sheet. So, there is a musician that has a music sheet and that musician can play the music sheet as it is described on the music sheet. So, that static part is can be termed as a program and then when that musician uh, basically performs that music in a real world fashion, that activity is known as process. So, maybe in that particular time, musician gives more weightage to some of the strings or some of the music lines, more intensity, more frequency, so such kind of things. So, let's try to uh, be very specific of defining the process, the activity of executing a program under the control of the operating system is known as a process. And at that particular uh, stage, that process will be associated with a with different kind of activities or status. Those are known as process states. So, you can also uh, learn this concept by another example that you are reading a book and your uh, friend is calling you and then at that time you have reached to certain uh, page number, you have learned certain concepts so, if you just lose that attention and then you can just uh, redirect yourself to listen what your friend is saying, then maybe when you come back, you are not going to grasp the concepts which you have already learned. So, first of all, you need to place a placeholder within that particular uh, book page number and then you might also need to write some of the things that I have read these concepts. And when I will finish talking to my friend, I will come back and start reading from this point. So, all of such information need to be stored. So, such information is basically called the process state. So, in computer system, what is there in the process state? There is a value of program counter that need to be stored. There are the values in other CPU registers. There are values in associated memory cell in the RAM. And there is a snapshot of the machine at particular time. So, all of such information need to be stored so that when there is again a switching back to this particular process, we can start this process from the same place where we have left it. So, let's summarize today's module. We have learned about process and its administration. We have uh, learn the distinction between process and program. 
and what is process and what are its states that need to be stored before the switching of the process.